Well, what other reason would there be for me to have the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights on the screen? Well, in case you guys are watching college basketball, they actually just pulled uh, the second time ever a uh, 16 seed being a one seed. Uh, the only other time was, oh, I can't remember whoever beat Virginia when they were a one seed, but Fairleigh Dickinson won as a 16 seed in the NCAA tournament. So our goal here, obviously, today is we're going to try to rebuild the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights, see if we can at least win one game, but I'd like to see how far we can get as to, like, you know, maybe winning a national title. I think that would be sick. This is going to be probably the hardest challenge I've done so far. They have nothing good. They have all seniors and juniors, which is, like, good, but we – really got to work on like recruiting and stuff like that and in case you didn't know they don't exactly have the biggest draw for recruits like he's the best one they got so this will be fun it'll be it'll definitely be a challenge um but i think we can do it so we're gonna we're gonna give it our all and hop right into it and see where it goes so this is gonna be a little bit difficult but they do have some three-star recruits that are actually interested only problem is that um <coughs> excuse me it's just going to be difficult. We don't have much recruiting points at all, so I'm going to have to make the best of what I got. Um, they got a lot of small forwards interested. So, this guy's like, these guys are 6'8". I definitely want to go ahead and try to get this guy to come in, visit, or come visit, come play for the, come, oh, I was going to say company. Come play for Fairleigh Dickinson because I think it's going to definitely make our lives a little bit easier so they definitely need two small forwards anyways everything else i'm just gonna have to get kind of as we go um i would like to game cast some of these because i don't know how well we're gonna do um and if up tempo if i get a month in and up tempo is not working i'm gonna jump it to balanced if that's not working i'm gonna jump it to uh to half court setting because maybe they're just not conditioned well enough but we're playing southeast missouri state and right now it looks like we're doing pretty solid some of these games are like must wins for us but once again, I'm simulating, so there's only so much that I can control. It's just a matter of hoping that they do well enough. But we did pick up a win there over Southeast Missouri State, uh, which hopefully should give us some pride points because that's going to be the other thing is, like, I think College of Charleston, that one took me, like, nine or ten years of just getting pride points leveled up because it's so difficult. You can't really control a whole lot in this game. Um, but we're competing right now against Colorado State. That'd be awesome to get a second win under our belt already. I'm going to do a little bit of the pause sim. Bro, that pause sim cheese be working, though. Look at that. Picking up our second dub of the season over Colorado State with the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights. Now we got the Loyola Marymount. And if I recall, they were decent this year, so I'm not excited. Actually, looking at the conferences, uh, we're taking off on them so far, though. Well, they, they go coming back. Hey, there we go. Um, looking at the conference, we're middle of the road, I think, for, like, overall. Like, from recruits all the way to, like, actual star power. So, But we're 3-0 and so far through non-conference play, and I think that's pretty solid. Now, would I enjoy, like, game casting all of these? Absolutely not. But do I think it makes a difference? Uh, for some reason, yes. <laughs> and it gives me the ability to call a timeout, which I don't know how much that affects, but at the same time, it's got to affect it at least a little bit. But we're going to try to get all these guys here for, like, as little as we can because we're not, I mean, we're not really concerned with bringing people back, but we'd have to have a successful season to be able to actually get better recruits to come back or to come in during the off season. Um because that's also where some of our recruiting is going to have to come in because I was unable to find a shooting guard and point guard that met any criteria in which we needed them. Because I'd rather just not get anybody than go out there and get, like, a scrub or something, you know? So so we actually – so I decided I was going to do game cast up until I lost this game to see if, like, it mattered. Apparently it doesn't. We're just not that bad. We're 10-1 and one so far uh, with a school pride point, and we're putting that to our threes 100%. Checking out our recruiting – we got all three or all four of the guys that I was going after and our center power forward and small forward are all the same height. So that's cool. Uh, just looking around the NCAA, Michigan State, Duke, Texas, Purdue. Hey, Purdue better watch out. If we get a, a – I'm just saying. If we get a 16 seed and we upset them, that would literally be the funniest thing ever. And I would just end the video there because it wouldn't matter. Uh, but hopping into conference play, we'll show these two games right here and then I'm going to go ahead and – oh. That was probably a pride point we just lost. Um, but we did pick up a dub thereafter. So maybe this one is because maybe it's the maybe the home. Yeah, there we go. 
There we go. Maybe it's the home win. But hey, I'll catch y'all at the end of conference play. Hopefully we can make the tournament. You know what I'm saying? That'd be pretty sick. But shout out to Fairleigh Dickinson, honestly, because it's very difficult to be a 16 seed and even have the faith that you're going to play a good basketball game, let alone win one in the NCAA tournament, considering the amount of times that 16 seeds have not won versus <laughs> the times that they have won. So so I don't know if Fairleigh Dickinson was like good in this year, but uh, we're 26 and three right now. Okay. Just saying, like, we lost to Dartmouth and that first to the Sun Devils, the first game, and this game to Furman, but that was it. Like, is that, I guess, I can't even see if my hair's all messed up right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty legit. And we got another pride point. We're going to go ahead and do the practice gym because I just want to rack up the practice gym and fix my hat because it's bothering me now. All right, cool. But yeah, so that's kind of crazy to me that, uh, that we were able to do that well. Um, just saying. Top 25 polls. Hey, yo. Hey. Hey, yo. Hey. <laughs> Purdue's going to be a one seed. Can we be the 16 seed? That's the real question. Uh, individual awards. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, Purdue's get, had a really nice center this year, too. He was like seven foot four. Um, did we get up here for coach? No, we didn't. I didn't think so. I don't think we're going to be up here for anything. Yeah, no. I don't even know if we'd be up there for, like, our conference, if I can even remember what it is. NEC. Uh, what are we again? Oh, yeah, we're fairly Dickinson. Yeah, we're 26 and 3. Hey, yo, hey, look at our boy. He's, hey, he's, he's playing some ball. Hey, we're hopping into the conference tournament here. And, oh, well, how did they do their conference tournament? Oh, everybody. Hey, they only got eight teams, so everybody plays. Um, yo, that's pretty dope. And we got the one seed. That's pretty dope. So we are playing against the eight seed right here. We'll go ahead and game cast it because why not? 26 and 3 is a successful year to me. Um, are we winning a national title? No, probably not. Are we making the tournament? I think so, but I also think we might need to win the conference tournament to make it. Like, we did have a good record, but I don't think we played a single quad one or whatever they call it team. But we're going up against St. Francis right here, and it's a very close game. A lot closer than I would want it to be, but I think we're still going to pull out the victory here. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so then we finally took charge. So we picked up the first dub of the tournament against the eight seed. Now we're going against Quinnipiac. I don't know if we beat them. No, because I think we only lost the two teams. Or we did only lose the two teams in conference. Oh, my neck. All right. Um. Wow, that does not look good. Who in the heck does Quinnipiac have? <laughs> what are y'all doing out here? Now is not the time to sell. Now is not the time at all to sell. All right, can we go ahead and bring this back? Hey, yo, where's the Paul? I need some Paul's cheese. There we go. Hit him with that Paul's cheese. And we're going to... Oh, he hit a three-pointer to win it at the end. Let's go, baby. We ain't even got to go to overtime. Bro, hit that thing with no time left. Let's go, baby. And we're playing the mount. I don't know who they are. Ain't too concerned with it. Let's see how our conference tournament turned out to be. Yep, so we're playing against... What is that? Yeah, Mount St. Mary's. Thank goodness we don't have to play Monmouth, man. I don't know what it is, but even in my Kentucky video, they I think one season we ended up losing to, to Monmouth. Spoiler, but, you know. I'd much rather play Mount St. Mary's because anybody who's mascot who's liter a literal mountain is kind of, eh. I don't know what their actual mascot is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. I said anything about the mountain. My bad. I didn't mean to say anything about your precious mountain. Hey, look at us bring it back, though. Bro, come on, cuz. I hope we made the tournament. Dang, we brought that all the way back, too. What am I doing? I don't even know if we're going to make the tournament. I guess we'll watch the selection show and see. Um, yeah, because I don't know. Are they going to include us? I don't even know. Oh, FDU is what I'd be looking for. Don't see it there. Mm -mm. Dang, I was hoping we would be up there with them. Oh, we might not have made the tournament this year. They put us in the playing game? No, nah, we just don't have it. Wow, really? We finished 28-4 and four and they didn't give us a game. That's crazy, man. Hey, I got to see if Purdue won, though. That'd be kind of funny if they lost. North Carolina beat Duke, though. I'll look. I'll just go to right here and look at it at the end. 
Ain't no sense in Well, I still see Purdue playing. Oh, uh, they did just lose to Michigan State. And Kentucky beat Kansas in the... I don't even really need to see it anymore because I was able to pick off what I wanted to see. But, oh, wow, North Carolina and Duke. And then Kentucky beat North Carolina. What do you know? And Kentucky won the national title. Ah, they beat the best set of Gardner Webb, honestly. I think if we would have won the conference tournament, I think they might have put us in as a 16 seed. I got job offers? Dang, UTEP wants me to... Nah, I'm good. I'll accept that five-year extension, though. All right, hopping into the offseason right here. Oh, he ended up being a four-star. Okay. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take every bit of that. We signed some pretty decent guys. Uh, we're going to have a lot of people leaving, and I don't even think that I would want to bring back. Yeah, you can you can go ahead and transfer. You're some, I can recruit somebody that's better than you, and he'll have more eligibility than you. So, All right, well, I'll catch you guys next season. Actually, just kidding. I'll show you guys once we get our roster together after I do some off-season recruiting because it might take me a minute. We ended up racking up with some freshmen, but I'm kind of happy with our team. So we got Chris Crockett's going to be starting as a freshman, as well as Ty Robertson, as well as Devin Weathers, Marcus Chapman, Uriah Maynard, Ty Buckles, Romeo Burdine, and Ray Royal to wrap it up. So I'm pretty excited. with, And I'm not going to register nobody yet because, I mean, our goal is to make the NCAA championship and win a round. Um... Yeah, that's going to be our goal for right now. But if I see us to where I think we... Hey, we got invited to a tournament already. So, if I see us to where we're doing uh, well enough that I think that we could uh, possibly make some noise, then I'll definitely definitely be uh, more apt to keep it going and just see. I'm going to do that again. I'm um, checking out some recruits that we're going to be able to get this year. Hopefully better than last year. Uh, we have a lot of seniors. So let's see. That'll leave us with one. That'll leave us with two. So so if we get two power forwards, no, that's more than five. I'm trying to do math here real quick. So that would leave us with two, 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 and then one. And then we already have three. So two power forwards, small forward shooting guard, point guard. Got it. Or nothing. Well, actually, those guys are solid. Hey, that dude's tall. I'm here for it. Uh, are these guys any good? No, not really. Mm, don't want him. He's taller. I'm all about the height, to be honest with you. He's 22. Okay, so he's going to be our best bet. Is that him right there? Wow. Why do A minus offense, B plus defense? Are you about to, like, do really well or something? He's an A. And a, yeah, no, I ain't taking no chances on that. Nope, 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 nope. No chance taken here. So we're into year number two. We finished with a really good record last year, and I'm kind of shocked that we just couldn't win the um, conference tournament and just go ahead and make it. But it is what it is, and in case you haven't seen my recruiting style, it goes a little something like this, where I just click this and do this a bunch. I'm hoping that's all I need to do because while they only have medium interest, eh. These guys, they get just the top. That's it. Because I'm pretty positive they're going to go to this school regardless. And I might as well, like this guy's like super interested already. Go ahead and pop that over to the targets page. Go ahead and hit back, back, doop, ba doop, do your thing and hit that sim button. And yeah, I'll catch you guys at the end of non-conference with some updates along the way. All right, so we're seven and one. Just a little bit of an update. We did lose the Utah by six points, but check it out. We got all our recruits right here. We got some tall power forwards coming in. We got a tall small forward coming in. We, I think, we about to be good to go. Nice school. We got two school pride points. We're upgrading that gym all the way. We got nothing but shooters on this team. Might not be able to do anything else, but boy, we're gonna be able to shoot the ball. I'm telling you what, these guys are progressing pretty well. Um, even Ray Royals is 70 now, you know, and we got people that are like in their that are like 60 overall in the uh, what you call it? Hey, yo, I'll catch y'all at this Carolina game. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into. I just hit the button on the wrong controller. Hop into this game. Yo, can we beat North Carolina? Yo, that'd be something. I don't normally like my Tar Heels getting beat, but if we can beat them with Fairly Dickinson, bro, I'm be happy. I mean, it's close right now, but it looks like they're yep they're stalling up. Yep, there it goes the old. St well, no, they're coming back. 
North Carolina hits a three. Jumper. Layup. Oh, come on, man. Too late. We did lose. We only lost about one point, dude, to North Carolina. I think that's pretty solid. I mean, I'm just saying. Like, no, it's North Carolina. They were numbered in 13 in the nation. If we could have beat them right there, that would have been amazing. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and simulate to the end of conference. We're just going to simulate the year, uh, year number two, and see how we finish out and see if we made the NCAA tournament or not. Actually, we're going to see if we can win the conference tournament and hopefully make the NCAA tournament. So, so yeah, we outmatched everybody. All right, so I'm just saying, if we don't make it this time, we finished 28-2. and two. We only lost those two non-conference games. Um, we got two more pride points. We're putting that to the weight room. We getting them boys, them boys getting beefy. You know what I'm saying? I'm simulating straight through this because we didn't lose to a single team in a conference play, and considering the amount of teams that they have, we played everybody twice and we beat everybody. So we should definitely be making the tournament. Yo, Fairleigh Dickinson is nice in these years. I don't even know. Like I just took control. It went like eight and twenty the previous year. You know, so like I was not expecting anything at all, and they really playing some ball over here, like. I see why they beat Purdue now. They've been they've been scheming for a while, bro. Mama, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. All right, cool. Bro, that looked like a... Dang, that was a close game. Bro, Quinnipiac, don't do it to me. All right, cool. We making the NCAA tournament. We got the bid. We got the auto bid. That is what's up. What's our top 25 looking like? Purdue? Nah. Where's Purdue at, though? They ain't even in the... Oh, they 23. Hey, yo, maybe we play against Purdue, though? That'd be pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Where where are we at? Where are we at? What are we... We're... we're, we're uh, NEC. No. No, that's the conference we're in. We're... Who are we? What team are we? I can't think of the name of our team. Maybe if I look at it, I'll figure it out. There we go. Fairly decent. We're playing against... Oklahoma? Yup. First game. Hey, we made the tourney, though. We did indeed make the tournament, and I bet you our coach – did we win coach of the year? That would be something cool. Nah, but we were number two. Coach Lindsey was number two. He's 59-6 and six so far here. Anybody else from Fairleigh Dickinson? Nah, didn't think so. Thought we might stand a chance for, like, maybe uh, freshman of the year. All right, so we're pr – I'm pretty sure – what are we – what seed are we? I didn't even look to see what seed we are. But I, if they're ranked, then, yeah, I'm pretty sure that – Damn, we were really, we were the 10 seed. Where did, oh man, we were so close to playing against Purdue. That would have been sick. We could beat them in this too. Um, Yeah, I don't think we stand much of a chance against Oklahoma. But we did compete with the Tar Heels earlier in the year. So I'm not going to count us out just yet. I might be counting us out soon. But hey, we, we've been known to fight back. You know, we fight back. All right, we're fairly Dickinson. All right. <laughs> But it, it only like we're not fighting back from that. Yeah, maybe some pausing. Nah, it's it's too over too late. But hey, we made the tournament. All right. Now the key is at least to not necessarily win it, but win a game. Right? If we win a game, if it's very difficult to win a game, then that's just going to be the goal of the video. But if we can, you know, maybe I don't know, win a couple of games, make it to a Sweet 16 or something like that, that would be sick. I think that would be dope. Or just turn the program around completely. Where do we get job offers from? Yo, we got job offers. Purdue offered us a job. That should have been the goal of the video. I'm good, fam. Appreciate it, though. I'm working way too hard on this team. Hey, we ended up with two four-stars as well. These guys end up being four-stars. I call that quality recruiting, if I've ever seen it. I'm going to sign all those guys. I don't even care who leaves for the next, like, two years, unless it's our freshmen. But, yep, nope. Y'all, y'all, yo, wait. Huh? Oh, he was the junior. I flash forward it too fast. All right, so we got a lot of recruiting points. We got some pretty high caliber people too. Yo, I might try to. Man, we only got one guy. I shouldn't have recruited so daggum well. Um. All right, so you know what? Whoever is the best recruit, we're gonna go after this guy, Kit Buckner. We're gonna send him a bag. We're gonna send like three different guys a bag, and whoever we can, whoever we get is who we get. So we got him, we got Bob Donaldson right here, because I just want a star-studded recruit. If we could get one, that'd be sick. Um, medium, I don't figure that's going to work, but and those guys are also still centers, and I don't really need a center. Sp yep, Spiro Workman, that's going to be our other. 
Hopefully we can snag one of these guys. I think that would be dope. Wish we could snag all three, but sadly I already got my recruiting class because I didn't know we were going to get that good of recruits. Um, so he signed to Connecticut. He's highest. He's. I think we're going to go ahead and sign him, though, if we can. I'm going to feel really bad if he just does not. Well, who's his? How high are we on his list? Oh, we're like number one. We might want to just go ahead and sign this guy. I don't want to run the risk. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to leave it up to NCAA and whatever they decide they want to do. Whoever they decide they want to let us. Okay, so we got. Hey, we got that guy. Cool. That's that's what they want. I'd much rather do that though. And on the on the off chance that I just don't get um, the other guy, at least get one guy out of it. And he might be. He's literally our starting point guard right now. <laughs> so I'm really glad I signed him. Um, we got a lot of sophomores and freshmen. So <laughs> a lot. But that's okay. Because they're not to the point that they're that good yet. Oh, stop. Stop. Nope. Cannot. I meant to, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. They let me do it. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so red shirt, red shirt, and red shirt. All right, cool. No point in running all of those guys and letting them lose, like, years of eligibility. Maybe at some point they'll offer us to go to a different conference. I might not keep it because I think it'd be cooler because we're always going to be the underdog if we're in this conference. Unless we start putting us, once we get like good, hey, we're in the Old Spice Classic now too, which is pretty sick. Once we start getting like good, then it's like, then they'll start like giving us better, uh, better people. Shooting guard, I'll just go for those two guys. We only got one anyways. The training must be working, so let's go ahead and do what I was doing. I think that's what I did. I did something like that. We'll go 60-40. And we're going to go ahead and start up season number three. Hey, we're actually playing pretty solid. So the first year didn't make the tournament. It was kind of BS. But second year now, made the tournament, just didn't win. Third year, though. Let's check out our roster and see how we're looking. Hey, we got an 80 overall right here. And this man's a 79. This team is solid. I should have looked at how we fared against all the other teams. But, uh, hey. We did not lose a game at home. Just saying. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hop into the recruiting portal right quick. As much as I would. How tall are you? Yeah, I don't care. What do I need? Did I say a shooting guard? As a shooting guard. I'm going to go after this guy because he's... Well, yeah, no, nah, we'll go after this guy because he's taller. I don't think anybody's going pro. I don't think we're good enough yet, but can we beat Valpo for our first game at home? In this Old Spike Classic, I might actually show... Well, we got a lot of games I kind of want to game cast and show, just because they're going to be solid games. And if we could pick up those wins, that might actually help us out. But we do have to beat Valpo here to kind of start us out, which is going to be easier said than done, I would say. But there again, who cares? Because... <laughs> Ain't nobody in our conference has beaten us. <laughs> you know, like, we obviously are the dogs in our conference. Uh, let's see. No, that's Malcolm Underwood. Jacob Underwood? Where you at? Uh, yeah, number one. What do you say? I'll be surprised if he clears for a draft. Yeah, I'm starting to get those kind of players. That's fine. I ain't too concerned with it. it Hopping in here against UCLA. Can we go ahead and pull an upset on UCLA? Hey, we're playing some ball. Let's keep, keep, nope, nope. There we go. Nope. I just want to keep pausing it because I feel like it's helping, even though it's doing literally nothing. But I feel like it's helping. Look, we hit a layup. And we hit a three. And we hit another shot. And we're still winning. There we go. Hey, we're doing... Hey, we're playing solid. And we pick up the dub. Let's go. We beat UCLA. Were they ranked? No, they weren't. <laughs> I didn't figure that they were. But uh, I still like to get wins, you know? Like that's a quality win now odu does not bother me as much but maybe they should well it looks like they should can we not lose the odu please that'd be much appreciated if we didn't lose the old dominion shout out to norfolk virginia i was up there for a while oh man can we not oh thank god i would jump into some gameplay on this but the gameplay is just not that great i'm hoping that when i get the revamped version it's a little bit better, and it won't be quite as 
bad, but I think it's still just as bad. But at least we get like new jerseys and courts and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. And I might hop into some 2K8 hoops and try that out for a little bit and see how it is doing uh, stuff like that. Maybe I can actually control like rotational minutes and stuff in that game. I haven't really looked into it that much. As we win the Old Spice Classic here, which is absolutely awesome. I feel like I say absolutely way too often, but that's okay because it's a free world and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. To an extent. Ooh, ULM beat UMBC. So we're still undefeated as the year's drawing through. And we got this guy, Corey Morales, signed. And now this guy's way better. But whatever. Don't care. Um, Georgetown. Probably won't because I'm probably going to forget to. But here we go against Georgetown. I'm sorry. I meant to look at this before I played this game. Um, yeah, so they're number eight in the country. Don't really have high hopes that we're going to win this. I don't know who scheduled this for us. But, yeah... Well, I mean, we're playing. Mm, it's only a matter of time, I feel like. Hey, ah, see, there it goes. See, you get your hopes up because they're playing, like, solid, and then they just run away with it. That's okay, though. I mean, we played a competitive game against the number eight team in the country, so I can't complain but so much. And our, probably the last one we're going to see here for the game cast is going to be against Michigan State, and we'll see how we do. I'm very hopeful that we do a little bit better than against Georgetown. But I'm not going to look at the ranks after. Oh, we're playing Duke, too. Bro, they set us a schedule, bro. I think these are supposed to be, like, squash games for these teams. But I don't think they realize, like, how good Fairleigh Dickinson's actually gotten since I took over coaching. Like, our recruiting has been solid. Um, it's still competitive. I mean, I think they're going to run away with it here. But, yeah, there they go. Hey, we lost by 10 to Michigan State, though. Like I said, if we're losing these games, we're going to win the conference. I'm literally not concerned about it. And, but I was hoping we would win those because I think that those would definitely have helped our school. Whoa. Hey, but check out our, you know, check out our pride. Like, we're looking pretty good, and our prestige is up. We got another pride point. So, did we look at the roster to see how good the guys got? Oh, yeah, I already did that. All right, so I'm going to catch you guys come conference time, and hopefully we can win us a conference tournament and a bid to the national, to national tournament, to the NCAA tournament again. Oh, as we draw to an end, we see we did exactly what we did last year. I um, think we went undefeated in the conference once again. We're actually ranked number 16 now. We're ranked as the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights. Are we ranked higher than Purdue? That's a real question. We are. We're ranked higher than Purdue. 27-3 and three with a conference. We're 18-0. and 0. We actually beat, uh, let's see. So we beat Illinois. I don't know what they were ranked at the time. But we lost to Duke, uh, Georgetown, as well as Michigan State. We beat Illinois, and we beat uh, Notre Dame. So I think I would be willing to bet. Yep, we got more pride points. We're going to bump the weight room up. Go ahead and bump that study hall up one. And I think next year is going to be our year. And if not next year, it's going to be the following. But after that, I think I'm going to end it off even regardless. Because if next year will be like our almost prime, possibly prime. And the following year will be like us in our prime. So if we can't win it by then, it's kind of like, are we ever going to win it? That's the the bad part sfc i don't even know who that is sorry if you get an sfc i've never heard of your college but you lost the fairy dickinson in my simulation anyways so um robert morris i know robert morris yep 100 percent gotta take them boys out real quick and then i don't know who this is i don't know who that is at all did we pick up the dub i didn't even see i mean it doesn't matter we're ranked anyways Yep, so we ended up winning out, um, which is pretty sweet, if you ask me. They're probably going to invite us to another conference. So we finished number 15 in the nation. Taking a look at our... No, we didn't get anything for that. I don't even know if we do get anything for that. Taking a look at our roster, so what we're looking like. I mean, we're still rocking with a solid team. I mean, they're all sophomores except for Spiro Workman's a freshman. I'm not expecting any of them to leave except for the senior that was already supposed to leave. And we are the four seed against Ui Pui. So that's pretty sick. I definitely see us winning in the first round here. I'm just going to simulate it. Maybe that will backfire on me. I can't even reach my back to scratch it. Maybe it will backfire on me, but hopefully it doesn't. Because I really would hope that we can beat Ui Pui. Considering we... Yeah, 
destroyed our whole conference. Eight, and we're playing the number five Cincinnati, who was ranked lower than us. Can we get to the second, to the Sweet 16? It does not look like we're going to. It looks like Cincinnati's on a different level today, and we could not match that level because we got like small spurts of offense, but it's nothing to. Well, no, they're just not playing enough defense. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Oh, okay, never mind. Overtime. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Let's go. We came back on them. Dude, they were beating us so bad, and we came back and won. Let's freaking go. I've never been more of a Fairly Dickinson fan in my life. Dag on. Oh, they were up 11 at half, and they end up losing. Oh, but I think our hopes and dreams come to an end against this more uh, Arkansas team. Which I didn't even, I wanted to hit that button so I could see their overall compared to ours. I didn't even look at what our overall is, to be honest with you. Technically, we're even matched. Okay? Technically. But they are the one seed in the tournament. And, yeah. But we're in the Sweet 16, which is sweet. Um, like I said, uh, this is not our prime year. Now, do I think we're going to win this? No. But, hey, hey, yo. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, look at us though. Look at us ball. Come on now. Keep balling. Don't nah. See, this is where they this is where they're gonna give it up. Hey, keep scoring. Don't let them don't let them outscore you. Keep going. Let's go. Then we just we just pulled an upset for the one C with Fairly Dickinson. Let's go. We're going to the Elite Eight, bro. No chance. Y'all saw it live. Like, that's why I like to game cast these games. Cause even if you don't believe me during the regular season, when it comes to the tournament, we start balling out, you know what I'm saying? Uh we got Georgetown now. Oh wow, the once he got upset there too. Uh North Carolina. Don't make me play North Carolina. Please don't do it. I do not want to lose to North Carolina. This year's North Carolina team, like in this game, like the portrayed team, not even good. Like they probably their worst team. I think they actually made it to the NIT that year. We played Georgetown earlier in the year. I forgot about that. Can we can we hang on? Can we? I mean, we're hanging on. They're still scoring though. I need us to do whatever we did those other games where we just miraculously came back out of nowhere. But it does not look like that's going to happen. And Fairly Dickinson season comes to an end in the Elite Eight in year number three. But I don't even think anybody would have ever expected them to be here. At that point, Texas mollywopped North Carolina in the title game. Hey, where do we get offers from? Yo, Kentucky and Kansas offered us a job. Isn't that crazy to go from Fairly Dickinson to Kansas? I'm going to have to do a video where I, I... I've thought about that video, too, where I go... Oh, we got a five-star. Heck yeah, dude. Um, where I go, like, Coach Carousel. The Atlantic 10. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, sure, we'll accept that. We might not have as good of a record now because we're going to be in the Atlantic 10, but... Oh, well. Uh, I don't think I need to do any recruiting. We didn't end up needing to do any recruiting, but look at this team. This dude's a freshman. I just got him this past year. Look at this team. All these guys are all, oh, bro. This I think this might be our prime year, low-key. This might be our prime year, but I'm going to give it one more chance after that just because this will be our first time in the Atlantic 10 Conference. But I, I'll look in comparison, but I don't think that any teams are actually that good. And we're number 14. Dude, we only lost by, like, eight points to the number three team in the country. The Maui, dude. We're moving up in the world. Look at that. Overall, A. Starters, A. The only thing we got defensive rating isn't that great. But, dude, we're an A-plus overall. Like, how did we go from where we were to that? I, we're going to actually have some competition this year. Xavier's in this. Um, I know Dayton sometimes is pretty good. Um, apparently UMass is also good. I'm doing the exact same training that I was doing. Even though our defense... How did I do this last time? I think I did it like that. And that did... That, 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 that. And then... 60-40. So yeah, recruit-wise, do we have any seniors this year? I feel like we have a lot of no we so we technically don't have any seniors so anybody we're gonna grab is gonna have to be after the fact for the following year and that's assuming that people go pro which maybe he might go pro yeah like middle of the draft maybe 
Look at some of these, like, shots. Look at these guys' three-point ratings. Like, they're kind of baller. That dude's got a 90 three-point rating, bro. I'm putting him in at the end of the game. Could care less the situation. He's going in. Unless we're on defense, of course. Um, yeah, so we're doing pretty good on our school pride, I would say. And, yeah, so we're the... What are we for... Yeah, we're 14th for, for top 25 polls at the beginning of the season. And we got some pretty like quality opponents this year but uh yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and sim up the season and see how we finish what is this year this is year number four so we got this year which i think is going to be our year and then i'm going to give us one more year to win a national title because we've already beat what we we're supposed to do i mean we made it to the elite eight upset of one seed so you know well if you didn't know we are actually doing quite well and we did lose five games and we're not ranked, but we played against UCLA, Ohio State, Memphis, Maryland, and Michigan. All handed us losses, which it's okay. Um, and considering we went undefeated in the conference, this is like the second year in a row now. Or maybe it's the third year in a row. I'm not too concerned that we're not going to make the tournament. We're not going to be as high of a seed as last year, which kind of hurts me a little bit, but... What are you going to do? Um, what are you going to do there? We've got St. Louis right here in the first round of the conference tournament. Can we go ahead and pick up a dub? Yep. I think we're going to be a sleeper this year. I really do. Um, because not a sleeper. I think maybe I'm using the incorrect terminology. Pretty sure a sleeper is like somebody who, if it's related to car terminology, it's like you don't know that they're going to be as good as they are, basically. Bro, we lost. Did we miss the tournament? What? Mm. Wait, are we ranked? Oh, we, and we ended up ranked, so it didn't matter. Uh, we're the ten, the seven seed though, so we got to beat Nova. Hey, hey, y'all see what I'm looking at? <laughs> okay, you, you, they supposed to win, so if we if we can win, we might we might have that opportunity. Uh, like I said, this year is the year I thought we were going to do the best. But, um, you know, if it's not this year, I got one more year for us. But that's going to be it. Because um, this ain't a rebuild till we win a national title kind of video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if y'all do like this, make sure y'all show support and give me uh, anything you think that you'd want to see or some cool ideas or something like that. I'm always down for more ideas. I just saw this and then uh, I was watching the game and saw that no shot oh they haven't played yet okay i was about to say saw that this happened and was like oh my gosh like that's ridiculous um so i was like i have to do something related to that and considering my options available i was like well let's just see if we can if we can upset a team with uh fairly dickinson and, and we did last year so can we upset if we can upset villanova right here we have the chance to go upset purdue if they win can we do it, though? Doesn't look like we're going to. Uh, well, you know, we've we fought back before, but I just... I don't know if we have it in the tank this year. It don't look like it. I mean, we're keeping it like a 10-point game, but... Oh, my God, nobody's... And they scored again. And they scored some more. Yeah, I think this is about wrapped up for us. Ooh. Uh, nah. Nah. Well, we gave it our best effort, but we were unable to, and we lost in the second round. Can we do this next year? Can next year be our year? If we get everybody returning, I would 100% say so. Is everybody going to return? Probably not. Um, hey, North Carolina won a national title, though. That's what's up. Shout out my Tar Heels. Uh, yeah. Tar Heels get past the game, whoever squad. Yeah, I didn't, we didn't recruit any. We couldn't recruit anybody. We didn't have any scholarships. Please don't tell me everybody's leaving. Okay, Chris Crockett is transferring. Okay, he's coming back. Ha! Had plenty of points to do with that one because we didn't have to do any recruiting. Since this is the final season, I'm not going to do any... Um, not going to do any more recruiting, but we got A-plus everything. It says our recruits is a C, which is why our overall is A. But whatever like they're predicting us to be number one in the conference um 
I don't know. Here's what our roster is looking like right now. Dude, we're, we're literally solid. I did the recruiting. I focused mainly on our starters because I feel like that's like going to be the most important thing for us. And we're playing North Carolina in the, uh, what you call it, turn in the uh, Maui Invitational. So that will definitely give us a good look at what we're going to be seeing. As we have an 87 overall, Ty Robertson. This team overall is just disgusting. So I don't see anybody beating us. Just saying. But it probably will. So I'll catch you guys at the end of this year, the end of our final year, as we go and see how we do in the conference tournament as well as the NCAA tournament. 29 and 1. What can I say? This team right here, this team right here put a whooping on the Tar Heels, Memphis, Michigan. They beat the only team they lost to was Georgia Tech. Otherwise, we would have had an undefeated season. But we're ranked number 20. Actually, probably should get an update on uh on everything, how everything's going. Uh School pride doesn't really matter at this point. I was, I'm genuinely surprised. This challenge has not been difficult at all. I mean, if it was to win a national title, it would be a little bit difficult. But, bro, they, they got the squad. Sadly, if this wasn't the last year, they all be leaving. But, like I said, this is the last year was like a maybe prime. And this year is like the prime year. Because we're beating like non-conference opponents that are solid. You know, only losing one game and it being to Georgia Tech, which I'm pretty sure they have a really good team. I think that's awesome. Um, I would love to cap this off with a conference tournament win, as well as at least make it to the Final Four. That would be... Did we lose? Did we just lose? Oh, no, we won. Okay. Whew. I thought I saw an L pop up on that screen. Um, but yeah, a conference tournament win and at least like a Final Four or something. I think that would be pretty sweet. But overall, we... I mean, the challenge was to get Pat of the first round as Fairly Dickens, which we did. Uh, and actually, kind of blew it out of the water because we made it to the Elite Eight. I was really hoping we were going to get a chance to play Purdue in this video, but we were unable to. At the same time, though, hey, we're number 18. Can we play? Are we? Do we have a chance to play Purdue, though? That's the real question. No. Did they even make the tournament? They did. There's. Uh, they'd have to. They'd have to run the table, and they ain't doing all that. What are we? The we're the five seed. Okay. So, can we go ahead and uh, do the thing finally? Can we? Go, can we? Can we go to the final four? Can we win a national title? Uh, that would be pretty sick too. Just saying. Probably not. But we definitely turned this program completely around. But well, shout out to them for their big win, bro. Huh? Excuse me. What are y'all doing? I need y'all to not do this, whatever this is. There we go. I need y'all to play basketball. Thank you. Thank you so much. They put their football cleats on. Oops. They put their football cleats on and were wondering why they couldn't score. Goofy. All right, so now I think we're going against the four seed, which is Arizona. I do not think we've played them yet in this entire video. Can we pick up a dub over Arizona, though? I think we have a better team. I personally do. It's a matter of if they play adhesive basketball together, but cohesive, adhesive. If they play sticky basketball, <laughs> they play cohesive, but mm, this does not look good. That looks not good. No bueno. That does not look... I do not feel bonito right now. And we lost. Ah, I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. I thought this year was going to be the year. Ah, oh well. Thank you guys so much for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Sadly, we could not win a national title, but we did make it to the Elite Eight with the Fairleigh Dixon Knights, and ultimately we did what we wanted to do. We wanted to take Fairleigh Dickens and make it out of the first round, just like they did. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure you drop your comments on any more ideas. Leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much.